Uh, hey everyone, it's Will here. Um, yeah, I'm just at home at the moment, just getting ready for the trip to Ghana. I'm going to be heading out in around about uh, three hours' time, getting a lift over to the airport with uh, half the other guys and meeting the other half of the team there. And yeah, I mean, just having a little pack, um, just making sure that all clothes are ready, that I've got all my tablets, all my, um, that for like malaria and stuff like that, all the sun cream that I need. So yeah, I mean, it should be a really great trip. Really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, see you on the other side. Bye. Along with our own stuff, we had to take a bag filled by people back home. These were mostly filled with clothes but also water filters and other essential toiletries. We didn't realise how much they would need them until we got out there. I'm not quite sure what those are. Oh, oh they've got loo roll. Always exciting. I've got, I've got two, bit, two bits of clothes. And then quite a lot of other kind of toiletries and stuff. As we got on the plane, I was acutely aware that I was leaving civilization behind. Well, civilization as I knew it. Leaving behind coffee shops, internet, and all those other creature comforts that I really take for granted. We were travelling to Accra, the capital of Ghana. When we got there, I was in for a bit of a surprise. So, here we are in... Dampong in Ghana, some lovely surroundings, just woken up on day two, uh, and just kind of really wanted to do a bit of a synopsis on what happened on day one. So we arrived here around about five o'clock in the morning, we had very little sleep on the plane, um, then travelled up from Accra to Dampong, which is here, but one of the things I really noticed on the journey was how kind of like China find everything is in a sense. Yeah, you just kind of got you've got this, you've got the buildings which are most of them look as if they could have been bonked straight out of like a minor UK city, um, but they they've all got a bit of like a Chinese tinge on them in a sense, which I suppose isn't really surprising because when you've got lots of different Chinese interests coming in, but what's really surprising is how much of a kind of Asian influence is having on this country and as we were riding through I mean as we got out the capital city um, which looks like a normal town um, in the UK what, what looks like a, like a normal town in the UK roads started to turn into mud tracks you know and two things really one the scenery is just magnificent I mean, a lot of that is just absolutely beautiful. We got here and the food is amazing, uh, the people are amazing. I mean we had, it was lunchtime for the primary school which is just there um, and we are living here for the week. Um, so yeah, they, they came out and it was just a bit like, wow, it was just so so like amazing in a sense. They they were also they they just kind of ran out to us and hugged us and climbed on us and literally just I mean one a couple of them even started doing press ups in front of me and it was just like whoa I'm not even gonna to attempt to try and do a press up. Um yeah but it's it's been really special and I hope it continues to be really quite special. Um, as I say, today is day two. Um, we're heading to secondary school today to do some lessons. And yeah, hopefully that goes well. Um, so I will see you on your side. Bye.